Welcome back to Ducoscopy TV. Joining me to discuss private equity funds is Dr. Malasheva, board member of University of Business and International Studies and partner of Hamilton White Group. Thanks for joining me, Dr. Malasheva. So you have a marketing background and you are now heavily involved in a private equity fund, HWG. Can you tell us a bit about Hamilton White? Hamilton White, it will be my pleasure to talk about Hamilton White Group. Um, we are a private equity fund that focuses primarily on service and education and by chance most of our endeavors ended up being education related. My background here comes in quite nicely because marketing background from Motorola combined with strategic background from McKinsey combined with somewhat esoteric PhD in physics that I happened to do before that, they all combine nicely into something where you have to build new things you sometimes do strategy, you sometimes do HR. Education is very consumer focused business because you need to figure out what does a student want, what does the parent want, what does the enterprise which is going to hire your student want and this is where marketing background comes in quite handily. Hampton White Group is also a little bit unique in something in, in this industry where we are uh, a women run company which is extremely unusual for anyone who is familiar with the industry, extremely unusual, and we're quite proud of that, of that fact, um, and we cherish that little aspect of us. And why is education a target for such a fund? Um, that is an excellent question. And you could look at this through a variety of different lens. You could look at this and say, across the board, education is one of the biggest um, if you were to take um, GDP of any nation, education will be always a big sliver of that big pie. Um, so this obviously is a consideration. But for us primarily, my partner, Kathy Raffaele and myself, we believe that education is one of those things that will make a profound difference in the life of the people. We've done different, uh, we've done a lot with our careers. And in this part of our career with Hamilton White Group, we are intensely focused on building businesses that would do well and do good at the same time. And we believe that education is uniquely positioned as such. And can you tell me, what is a value proposition for investors? At this point in time, we have very little institutional money and people who invested with us, they are successful entrepreneurs, they are successful business executives, they've built things and so that kind of mode of operation is really appealing to them as is the fact that we are trying to build good businesses that will change people's lives for the better. And so to our investors, we obviously strive to provide superior returns and um, our companies are on track to do that. However, equally important, we invite our um, investors to graduations. Uh, we could see someone who have turned her life around through education and this is what we did because of the companies that we've built um, and our investors get to see that. And what do you expect of UBIS in the future? Well, UBIS is very unique and we're very proud of UBIS and what we have done. Um, and what the team have done with UBIS. It's a very unusual university that had been founded by a group of professors who were fed up with how traditional universities were run. And they were looking for a new model. And specifically what we're looking is we're trying to build um, an educational institution that great, gives great foundation to our students in terms of the academics, but at the same time stays much closer to the needs of the real world, stays much closer to the companies that will be hiring our students. For instance, vast majority of the professors at UBIS, they're actually practicing industry practitioners. So if you're going to be learning banking at our school, you will be learning for someone who actually does banking during the day and then comes and teaches our students at night about that. If you're going to be learning marketing, you're going to have the same thing. Um, and our students really appreciate that. The classroom size is very small and that is by design. We want the professor to know the um, name of the student who they're teaching. We want the student to interact. We are encouraging students to start behaving like professionals they will become from the first time they come in. And what it gives professors is the very unique chance to understand the student and present that student in a very nice way, as well as to understand, do I want this person working for me? So can you tell me, how do you see the future of private equity funds going forward? 
That is an excellent question, and I think it's extremely relevant in this economic climate. It is no secret, we read it in newspapers every day, the economy in Europe, the economy in the United States is right now at a point um, where um, it is suffering, there is a lot of distress. And what very often happens, and that is very, very unfortunate, is that great companies who have great product um, will hit rough times. And this is an excellent time for savvy private equity funds to step in and to become a really good working partner, bring in the capital, bring in the expertise to carry the companies through that um, rough patch. What will happen with that is the companies will survive, the jobs will stay, and I think for the investors who will come in at this point in time through this private equity investments, I think they will get really great returns. They will be rewarded for the stepping in. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. That's all we've got time for right now, but stay tuned to Duke's Copy TV for more updates and interviews. For now, though, goodbye.